One thing I wanted to say, there, there's a host of speakers today and one who has been a champion on hydrofracking and the issues around gas drilling since the very beginning of the issue was slated to speak today uh, and that's uh, Assemblywoman Barbara Lifton and she's not able to be here to speak today uh, because of the death of her mother. So, um, but she, her, she's here in spirit. Um, and then the quiet that comes from that statement and to follow up on what Adrian just said about getting people to listen, I would like to introduce somebody that takes this issue very seriously. Um, some of you have heard about Pat for what he started on Martin Luther King Day, which is a simple request that he's here to tell you about to just get somebody to listen. Uh, thank you, and thank you everyone for being here. I'm from East Guilford in Shenango County, and uh, I've been involved in the, the struggle with everyone else uh, for years now, and I've tried in recent months to get a hold of State Senator Tom Libis and Governor Cuomo to ask for a meeting with some of the leadership from the grassroots groups in Shenango and Broome County. And the governor's office has just ignored me, but recently uh, Senator Libis's office wrote and said, thank you for your interest, but we don't have any interest in meeting with you. <laughs> and that a meeting wouldn't change his mind. And, and I understand that. Uh, Tom Libis is a politician, and I think he takes his job and himself very seriously. I'm a citizen and a father, and I take that very seriously. With something as simple as a local election, he and I could trade status that way. But I, I take him at his word that there's no power on earth that is going to change either of our opinions on hydrofracking, because that's a matter of character and of values. I know that he doesn't think we're going to change each other's mind, but that's okay. I'm, I'm a retired social worker. My last job before retiring was Shenango County Mental Health Clinic. And among my duties, I did forensic groups in the jail, I did dispute resolution, and I did community crisis. And I think a lot of that applies to here. I think we have a statewide community crisis. And not talking with people you don't agree with is never good. There's no benefit to it. it only increases tension. Whereas talking respectfully, even to people you don't agree with, that helps promote uh, understanding and at least getting along. So I, I, I'm trying to talk with this fellow. Uh, as I said, he still refuses, so I went on a hunger strike starting on Martin Luther King Day. The, the pro-hydro fracking community calls us names like tree huggers, and I've read internal gas industry documents where they call us insurgents. And I think we recognize them as people. They live in the same communities. They drink from the same water supply. And who are we really? You know, in the groups that I'm associated with, we have physicians and lawyers. We have university professors and high school students. We have factory workers and farmers, young and old, military veterans and other patriots. Some of those high school students in Bainbridge Guilford School, where my two daughters are in high school, are taking up a petition to Senator Libus and writing letters to the editor. And they're saying, Senator Libus, you're giving us an uncivil civics lesson. This is not what that constitution that another speaker spoke of, Amendment 1, the right to 
air our grievances with government officials. And part of that implied is that they converse with us. And I don't think that getting large donations from the gas industry excuses them from that responsibility. I think that what Senator Libis is doing by refusing to meet with me and a couple other people is tainting this controversy, just the same as hydrofracking paints water and air. And I'm saying to him, we have to do better than that. We can do better than that. Uh, again, thank you for being here today, and thank you for those of you who are supporting me. Thank you. So as a lot of speakers have already talked about, it's, it's a matter of us 